everyone. My name is Victoria Pavlov. Welcome to my studio. How are you today? Today we will talk about Valentine's Day and I will show you how easy you can create Valentine's Day postcard or um, greetings for a web. You can use basically this illustration we will create today with you in a way you like. And the best part is you don't have to be experienced illustrator or have huge uh, experience with illustrator to create this art. It will be easy and you will love it. Let's start. I have opened Adobe Illustrator and first of all, I would like to bring your attention to to the size of our artwork we will be working on today. Uh, you can create your art in any size you like. It's up to you. Today I will be using uh, templates, letter templates. I will click on it just like that and Illustrator will create these templates for me. Now I will close uh, my um, panels I will be not working with today, just like that. And here on the right side of my screen, you can see my layers panel. Layers panel is always, always, always open. Now what we will do, um, I will click on, I will show you, I will click on simple restangle tool and I will specify a red color for my fill dark red color close to burgundy and I will specify that you know illustrator I don't need any stroke in my shape and using this simple shape I will create my background just like that nothing too difficult or nothing too special but this is uh, this background will be base of our illustration now using same rectangle tool uh, I will create second shape, simple shape, just like that. But you notice that I created this shape in a smaller size when my first shape. I will release my mouse or my pen. And what I would like to do, I would like to add stroke to this uh, shape. And I will specify, you know, maybe something light pink just like that yes exactly like that and i will click ok now you will see victoria i don't see uh, any um obvious stroke in your shape we will fix it i have opened properties panel by the way properties panel i will recommend you always be opened and i will increase size for my stroke just like that and I'm happy with my first part of my creation. What I will do now, guys, I will lock my layer just in case. I don't want to apply any unwanted modifications to my shape, to my background layer and my um, uh, second shape. But what I will do, I will create a new empty layer <clears throat> just like that. And now I will switch. I will switch to curvature tool. Yes, guys, curvature tool, just like that. And I will switch, I will toggle um, stroke, I will switch a, um, fill color to my stroke color, to my light pink color. And I don't need any stroke in my next shape, just like that. And what I will do now, using my curvature tool, Tool, I will click anywhere in my document to create first curvature point just like that and now I will click to create extra curvature point, points. Why? Because I'm creating my heart shape just like that and I will close my shape just like that. Let me close. Oh. Okay, let's create one and two, just like that. Now, you will tell me, Victoria, this is not <clears throat> a beautiful heart. Uh, you need to practice uh, your um, uh, creating shape using curvature tool. 
Guys, it's so easy to fix anything. First of all, I will highlight this curvature point and I will click delete key because I don't need this curvature uh, point. Now, I would like to create angle between bottom curvature point and uh, side curvature point. To do so, I will double click just like that on this curvature point. And you will see after I double click on it, Illustrator created a corner um, curvature point. Now, I would like to do same with top middle curvature point. First of all, I will click on it and I will um, move it just in the middle. And after that, double click and my shape become uh, looks more hearty. Now, to fix shape of my heart, I don't have to switch to any other tool. I will use same curvature tool. I will click on this curvature point and I will move it same like that and same with this and just like that. And look at this. This is our heart. Now, this heart is a little bit bigger than I um, wanted. So what to do? I will uh, click on selection tool to highlight it, highlight it, and I will bring size of this uh, shape down just like that. And I will reposition it in the middle of my document, just like that. Perfect. This is a perfect position for my heart. Now, by the way, if you would like to change, to adjust the shape of your, um, uh, adjust your shape, you can do it at any time. Simply switch back to your, your curvature, um, tool and just like that. You can see here I have extra curvature point. I don't need this point. So I will highlight it and I will delete it. Same with, I'm sorry, let undo it just like that. Same with this curvature point. I have extra curvature point. I will highlight it and I will delete it. And now what I will do, I will continue adjusting my heart to the shape which I like the most, just like that. And perfect. I love, love, love this heart, just like that. Maybe something like that. Perfect. Now, now I would like to duplicate my heart. Why? Because I would like to create uh, three uh, heart shapes, but I don't want to create everything from a scratch. Again, in Illustrator, we can do many things in many, same thing in many different ways. I will show you easiest way. What I will do, I will click on edit, copy, edit, and paste, just like that. Now, I would like to have this new heart without feel, but I would like to have um, this light pink uh, color for my stroke. To do so, I will switch simply. Um, color, uh, feel no color and stroke this pink color. Because my properties panel is always opened, I will increase size for my stroke just like that. And switching back to selection tool will help me to reposition my second heart in a way I like. And maybe I will make it a little bit bigger and just like that. Again, guys, you can, um, adjust your heart, uh, create your art um, in any way you like. Now I will copy and I will paste my second shape. And now I have third shape. I will bring it on top and I will resize it just like that. Basically, guys, we have kind of this beautiful three heart we created with you using only one shape. Perfect. Now I will lock my layer and I will create a new empty layer just like that. And remember guys, the last uh, copy I made, it was a uh, heart without fill. I will click on edit and I will click on paste. And now I have fourth, uh, heart shape. What I will do, I will bring size of this shape down and I will reposition it just like that. And I will reposition it on the side, maybe somewhere here. Now I will go to edit, repeat and grid 
just like that. What I will do now, guys, I will just create grid um, with uh, my heart, just like that. It's very simple, guys. And I will reposition it just slightly. Click on it. Click and move just like that. Perfect. And maybe a little bit on top, just like that. Perfect. Now I have my uh, grid with a heart we just created with you. I like this design, but I would like to bring opacity for my multiple um, heart grid layer down. And I can do it again using properties panel. That's why I recommend you to keep this panel always open. What I will do, I will bring opacity down about probably 14. Yeah, maybe let's see, 15. Now I can see my heart, but they're not dominating. Our three hearts are dominating in our design. I will lock this layer again. If you will ask me why I'm locking uh, all my layers all the time, just because it's easier for you. If you're not experienced illustrator, it will be easier for you um, because you will lock this layer or any other layer what you don't want to apply any modification and you don't have to think about these uh, layers anymore. Now, create a new empty layer just like that and I will switch to beautiful type tool. Using type tool, I will type a very simple text for a Valentine's Day. Just like that. Wait, I'm so... It will be just like that. I love you. Just like that. Maybe, you know, I will use a small... Yes, just like that. Now, I will highlight my text. I will reposition it in the middle, align to center, just like that. And I will increase the size of my text, just like that. This text is very simple. Again, now, you can bring your imagination um, to life. You can use a simple text or you can create some kind of fancy... You, you can use uh, some type of fancy type for your uh, Valentine's Day creation. You can, you can change type using properties panel. Yes, simply click on it. And here I have my one of my favorites. I will click on it and just like that. Now let's talk about color. I would like to use some, um, you know what? I would like to use my pink color. Or maybe something else. Let's, you know what? Let's use this yellow color and let's preview. Oh, something, guys, something different. You probably expected that I will use the uh, same pink color. Maybe, maybe, maybe I will do it. To do so, I will click on uh, eyedropper tool and I will click on uh, my heart to apply same color to my text. And I like it. I like it. Now, I will select my text layer. And because I have a highlighted active selection tool, I will go to edit, copy, edit, paste. Again, we can duplicate layers in many different ways in Illustrator, but this is easier for you if you never worked with Illustrator before. I will position my text on top of my first text and I will expand my text layer just like that. Here we have two I love you. Um, I will lock top layer just in case and I will highlight my, uh, I mean, I will um, lock top top text and I will highlight my bottom text. And what I will do now, I will change color to, let's see, to what color I will change it. Maybe I will change to white. Let's see. And now after I change color, I will a little bit reposition it just like that. And voila, look at this. Now we have kind of 3D text without actually using 3D tool in Illustrator. Believe it or not, this is our Valentine's Day creation. As I promised, it will be easy, it will be fast. 
So, open your Illustrator right now and create something for, Illust for um, a Valentine's Day. When you will finish your creation, I would like to see what you created. Share your artwork on Twitter or Instagram, on LinkedIn, and tag me in your creation. I really, really, really would love to see what you will create after this tutorial. Thank you so much, guys. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'm here to help. And happy Valentine's Day. Love ya. Bye, guys.